Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music. I've got a little cold, so my voice is... 70s late night radio DJ low right now, which I'm really enjoying. Listen, I discovered a fascinating velocity scale trick to make my performances more uh, emotional, more expressive. Let me share it with you. <laughs> So I was looking at uh, YouTube this morning, as you do, and Stefan Oberhoff, who I follow, posted a great trick for using um, real-time velocity scaling in Contact, the sample player. And I thought to myself, that's nice, but is it possible to use a Logic MIDI plugin to do the same thing? And the answer is yes. Let's take a look at it. So Stefan was using the contact instrument, the grandeur, and it does make a good, he makes a good case for it because it's a very expressive piano. When you play softly, it's quite quiet. And when you spank it, it has a lot of splowing. So here's my uh, kind of over the top performance. Just a quick improvisation, but I'm hitting the keys too hard, and that very often happens with me when I'm excited playing drums on pads or piano. I'll just play a little too hard, and I want to go back and change it. It can be painstaking to get a performance to be expressive after the fact. But look, we've got something working for us. MIDI Effects has something called a velocity processor, and it's got some really sort of powerful uh, modes. Uh, compression, for example, pretty useful and great for pop music. But what I want to do is add and scale. And now I have a slider here that will just basically sort of scale the performance velocity-wise. And I can control that in, in real time. And of course, I can write that in real time. But don't I want a slider? Yes, of course I do. So I've been wiggling this knob here, right? And if I go up to, and I have to touch this first, if I go up to Logic Pro's control surfaces and say, learn assignment for scale, and just wiggle one of my sliders, let's say a slider controller here, there it is right there. I now have a slider that allows me to record um, the scale value. I'm just going to move this down here and we can close this you can edit by the way any number of things over here in the uh, in, in the listed window but we won't go into that now let's do a little bit here all right so we're going to start a little bit low and then push it up get some excitement going on And I've written the scale into the performance. And now I've got a much sort of more musical piano performance. It actually sounds more emotional to me. That build, because the sample layers actually get more exciting as you hit the keys a little bit more, you can control the expressive arc of your performance. Well. Of course, I realized that that would be really cool on drums, too. Let's take a look at it on drums. Well, here's my crappy little drum performance. You get the idea. I'm just banging away. It's awfully loud. So I'm going to do the same thing. Over here in MIDI effects, I'm going to choose Velocity Processor and switch it to scale. Probably could do any number of other things. S twiddle that knob a little bit so it sees it. Logic Pro's control surfaces, learn controller assignments. Uh, grab a different slider. I can close this now. I can close this now. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go into uh, touch, sort of my preferred mode for this. And here we go.
Well, this is probably worth smoothing out a little bit, but you can see the power that this kind of thing has, I suspect. And um, now I've got a more dynamic drum performance. That was, I think, the, uh, the Abbey Road drummer that I used, another contact instrument. And I'm sure this would work for any number of expressive uh, MIDI instruments. It's a powerful tool, and wow. I mean, props to Stefan Oberhoff for uh, showing this on uh, contact, just the scripter built into contact. But uh, it'll work with almost anything, I'm sure. Well, I hope this has been useful. Like and subscribe and ding the bell. You'll be notified when I do my next video. Uh, meanwhile... I'll see you next time.